Hello and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Astro Weather Edition. My name is Christopher Wateki, your stand-up astrologer. Well, it's Wednesday, October 22nd, 2008. The sun's progressed to 29 degrees Libra, and the moon today is in Leo. Take a look at those planets. Well, there's a lot going on today, folks. First off, this. An opposition between the moon in Leo and Neptune in Aquarius. This opposition is pretty important because Neptune, remember, is the kind of modem of the solar system. It's logging us into our higher self and our guardian agents. So in each of 12 signs, I will outline what this fault line is about and how it's being aggravated by a couple of other planets. Let's zoom in. The sun at 29 degrees Libra now. Now, 29 degree is the last degree of any zodiac uh, transit. That means we are intense. We are impatient. We are over it. We just want this damn lesson over. In each of 12 signs, I'll talk about how you're a bit intense in that and how you might be carrying it to the Leo. Then also Pluto, which is at 29 degrees Sagittarius. Damn Pluto. <laughs> Just want to get that damn planet over into Capricorn. 29 degrees. This is the final degree of a 12-year transit that will be over the third week in Thanksgiving. And each 12 signs, I will warn you, do not retrograde back into what you have learned. The final degree of Pluto is vicious. It could literally kill you if you go against what you've learned. Stay on track. Watch those. How's, for, how's that for a nice buzz line to get you to watch? But I'm serious. But before you click on your horoscope, let's take a look at the moods of each of our brothers and sisters and what's opposing for them. And let's begin, of course, with our intellectual air signs. Gemini, sunny and chatty. It's belief in Neptune versus thought with the moon. The Libra and sunny and social. Neptune is leading them toward their dreams, but their heart's all about society. And the Aquas are sunny and sentimental. Their ego is really kind of charged by intuition. Their passion for relationships over the top. Then on to our fire signs. Aries, sunny and childlike. Their Neptune is pulling them to society, but their heart's all about their inner child. They're a little too childlike. The Leo's sending cool with their own moon in their sign and putting out a diva alert out there. The Leo's could go a little too far today. Their ego is charged, but their intuition is telling them where to draw their lines with friends. And the Sagittarius are sunny and philosophical. It's thought versus belief for them, thought being the intuitive part. Then on to the earth signs. Taurus, sunny nesting and resting. Their intuition is guiding them to a career, but they're a little oversensitive about survival. The Virgo's overcast but feeling cool. It's about inner faith. That's what they're passionate about, but they need to focus on reality. And the Capricorns are cloudy with a chance of Randy. We don't see that often. It's really about their soul capital with intuition versus where their boundaries should be drawn. Careful, Capricorn. Then lastly, our H2Os. Cancer, sunny and valuable. It's boundaries that they're intuitive about, but their values are a little extreme. The Scorpio's sunny and powerful, intuitive with their home, but extreme with their career. And the Pisces are sunny and hyper aware, intuitive with faith at large, but more aware with reality, or over the top, I should say, with reality. Sorry. That's all I have for today's Astro Weather Edition. Be sure to click on your horoscope for the details of what I just outlined. And we're out there under a very fiery diva-like moon in Leo. I'm still in this studio covering your Astro. <laughs>